this is your black story channel I see a lot of the comments and people that are making videos about Janelle Monet making an insensitive comment about black people need to vote or register to vote like they're standing in line in Popeyes. So her quote was exactly, perhaps we put in voting booths at every Popeyes location while we wait on that sandwich you can register and vote. Was she right about that? How many people did go out and register and vote? Now I understand that was a big push for voting. But how many did, did people actually went out and register to vote? But the question is, the real question is, was she right by saying that? We know who we have in politics right now. And the only true way to change your community, your neighborhood, your country, your city, your state, your county is to register to vote and to actually go out and vote. That's the only true way that you as a citizen can change the makeup or the demographics of politics. Now, in my humble opinion, we are still in that Willie Lynch syndrome as a black community as a whole. If anybody don't know what I'm talking about when I say Willie Lynch, I would advise you to go and read the Willie Lynch letter. I don't have to get into that. That's a whole different story. But the makeup of that letter, the makeup of the techniques that he used to control slaves is still prevalent today. She had the right message, but in the wrong context. But I do have to ask this question. What if, and I want you to be completely honest with yourself, what if Dave Chappelle in a comedy special would have said the exact same thing Janelle Monet said? How would Twitter, Twitter exploded when they saw this, how would Twitter react to it in the classic Dave Chappelle uh, comedy stand-up? The shit would have been funny as hell, in my own personal opinion. So, when I say that, it always come back to that Willie Lynch. You have Janae Monet saying it this way, and if Dave Chappelle said it this way, how would you take it? Now that's a million dollar question. Two different people. One is an entertainer in the uh, music business. Uh, the other one is a comedian. How would you take it? How would you honestly feel? What would you think if Dave Chappelle would have said this? Some of the things that people said on Twitter Janelle Monet basically said that you chicken eating coons don't care about voting. From what I understand, she's very passionate about people going out to register and vote. So how is that comment valid? Now she did the right thing, she apologized. And that's the right thing to do, to apologize because it was a little insensitive. I'm not distracting from that. My purpose for this video is to ask that same, that one question. What if Dave Chappelle in a comedy special 
would have said the same exact words. How would Twitter take that? Another one on uh, from Twitter. Black people need to spend just as much time at the voting booth as they do at Popeyes. Hmm. I don't know. This is just something that really I ain't gonna say ticks me off, but kind of disappoints me in our people because we're always stomping on our people now if our people do make mistakes the right thing to do is to be a man about it or a woman about it and to apologize and that's what she did but if you stop and think about it for one minute what was the message that she was trying to say pretty evident to go out and register and vote and change the demographics that is in politics we all know I don't have to get into those demographics because we already know what we have in politics the only way to change it is to register to vote and to actually vote Janelle said that when she apologized, she said, thanks to all of you for calling me out or in and helping me remember and refocus on the bigger issues. I love y'all, she wrote. Keep teaching one another. Never be afraid to be wrong. Never be afraid to listen and learn. Well, she did apologize. And she got other stuff that I that I can read. Little Twitter stuff that she wrote out there. And I got it. She's in show business. She don't want to lose her fans over something that she said. And I, I understand. I, I mean she was in a she was as you could say, forced in a corner. And maybe her publicist or her manager told her, look, the right thing to do is, is to apologize. We got it. We know that she was going to have to do that. But the message is clear. She wants you to vote. She want this. She want her community and this country to be better. I don't have to tell you what's going on right now. I'm sure you know probably more than me at this point. So what are we going to do? If we can go out there and wait two hours, three hours, or whatever it is to get a sandwich, or if we can go out and wait two, three hours to get those brand new Michael Jordan shoes or whatever, then yeah, we can go out there and wait those hours to register to vote and to actually vote. Hey, thank you for viewing this. This is Tommy from your Black Story channel. And I will be seeing you again on another video. Thank you if you watch this. And I'll see you again.